and Gunner are six foot two, six foot three, 190, 195 pounds. Is that where you're sitting at right now? About 195 pounds? Yeah, just just about there. Forget the Chandler three. Let's go the Romney three. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm ready to buy in 100%. We got Gunnar Romney here on ESPN 960. Have you watched any? You mentioned you've watched wide receivers at the NFL level, uh, a number of uh, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., um, Antonio Brown, all phenomenal wide receivers, some of the most talented wide receivers in the NFL. What do you know about Austin Collie? Have you watched any Austin Collie film? Yeah, I actually have uh, just recently. Um, I didn't – I mean, obviously I grew up watching BYU football, so I knew about Austin Collie. But I didn't really follow his NFL career until recently when I started hearing a lot about him. Uh, so I started uh, kind of studying him, and uh, I think I, I could probably model my game after his. I think we, we have a lot of similar traits, and so I think I, I should probably start studying him a little bit more, honestly. Through, I believe, five games, his um, his second year in the NFL, he was leading – the NFL in receiving yards, receptions, and receiving touchdowns before he had uh, a few concussions. I mean, he was legitimately the best wide receiver in the NFL. Um, I can't even remember what year it was now. It's been so long. 2009. <sighs> wow. Mid- no, was it no, 2010? Two, no, it was 2010. I think it was 2010. Fall 2010. I'll have to go back Ooh. and look. Yeah. Was it 2009? Okay. Okay, here's a question for you, though. Do you play basketball? And if you don't play basketball, would you foul the crap out of people if they were going to score on you? Because you're ultra competitive. Oh, yeah. So I played basketball until sophomore year when I actually moved over here to Arizona from Texas. Um, but, yeah, that was me. I was a very aggressive player. Um, anytime any go up, um, I think it's more honorable to get a foul than get scored on. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I like it. You and Austin Colley and myself all have something in common. Yeah, you undercut people, and you know you do oh, some dirty I'll, things. I'll do whatever Nickel. to win. I gotta I win. I don't really appreciate that, Gunner. We gotta let you go, man. But we're so grateful you joined us on our airways. Thanks for letting BYU fans know who you are, how you approach the game. He works out three to four times a day and models his game after guys like Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., and now Austin Collie. We we can't wait to watch you compete in fall, Gunner. So keep on doing your thing, and uh, let's see if we can get Tate and Cougar Blue as well. I like the Romney 3. I mm-hmm. like the Chandler 3 as well. Big things to come. Thanks, Gunner. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. Alumni Harrington here, and I'd like to share with you why my family trusts Dental Pros of Utah to take care of our teeth the right way, the biomimetic way. I recently heard about some folks that went to another dental office that offered biomimetic dental care, and although they were happy with the fillings, they were shocked at the price when the cost was nearly as much as a crown. They paid over $900 for each of the fillings. At Dental Pros of Utah, Dr. Criddle and his team are dedicated to providing cutting-edge biomimetic dental care at an affordable price. Sure, biomimetic fillings take more time and use higher quality materials than regular fillings, but a Dental Pros will even work with your insurance to get the best benefits for you. If you want to preserve your natural teeth and your wallet, call Dr. Criddle and his team at Dental Pros of Utah and American Fork. 801-756-0360. That's 801-756-0360. Or visit their website at dentalprosofutah.com.